you know, there's never really a scenario for me. Uh, in fact, I try to avoid, I try to avoid that the condition of the scenario, shall we say, by never narrating to myself what I'm doing. That seems paradoxical, even to me, because there you see not only one, but two pictures of people interrelating in some way. So in each picture, there's an interrelationship, which could be narrativized. And between the two pictures, there's even another one. And yet, I don't want there to be one. So part of what I'm trying to do is bring things together without submitting to the narrative. Because I think that pictures don't narrate. I think they, they suspend impulses to narrate. They suspend our impulse to narrate in order to be pictures. That's sort of how I see it as a sort of process. So um, in the case of Pair of Interiors, it had a starting point, um, very shapeless, formless starting point of my own um, time spent in that room, sitting on, on those sofas, reclining on those sofas, lighting, turning on the lamps, turning off the lamps, being there, because it's my house. And um, slowly, that ambiance conjured up the motif, I suppose you'd call it, of a couple that is embodied by four people. In other words, it seems to be a pair of interiors occupied by a couple. What they're wearing, etc., suggests that it's a couple. But in each picture, the couple is portrayed, I guess you could say, by different people. Uh, that in itself has a lot of meaning, I suppose. Who we are, who we are to each other, do we seem like the same people from moment to moment to people who are around us, etc. Those are even rather conventional thoughts. But that's where it came from. I can't explain why, but somehow the, the mood of that place conjured up these four people who made one couple. If I was writing a movie or a story, I would have told you how that happened why it happened, and what, you know, what the outcome of it was, but I, I'm not doing that. So I don't have an outcome, I don't have a cause that's internal to the event you see. The only cause is my own experience. So it came to be sort of without me trying to take it there, it just got there. And then after that it really becomes a process of how to make that thing, which then changes it again. Because once you start making something, you run up against actualities like the real appearance of people, the color of what they might have to wear, etc., etc., how they look in lamplight, all these things that are interesting in the process of making. And that changes the picture again in ways that are you know, hard to recount, but they, it did. So that the picture, the picture you see was, it was uh, improvised quite a bit for a while and then came to look like that.